your parents your relatives your society's uncle all must be asking this one question beta 10th ke baad kya karne wale ho and as usual our answer is going to be the same 10th ke marks ke baad decide kar lenge uncle 90 plus mila to science aur ya fir kuch to soch hi lenge but guys it doesn't work that way and this video i have made for all you students who at some point in the lives must have thought main ek din doctor banunga so hi guys it's dr parth palan here from kaim hospital mumbai so basically i'll be describing the whole journey that is after 10th what exactly are you supposed to do to become a doctor and i'm sure that 5 minutes into this video half of you will say that i don't want to become a doctor but guys wait till the end wait till the last part of this video i'll be giving you a very very important point in the end so coming to point number 1 that is after 10th what are you going to do so after 10th you are going to take science stream in 11th and 12th standard and after 12th standard you will be having an all india entrance exam called neet ug ug stands for under graduation the pattern the syllabus is going to be physics chemistry and biology three subjects are going to be there 180 questions are supposed to be attempted uh, there's going to be negative marking as well so plus 4 and minus 1 and since all your exams from now on are going to be mcq pattern type like your neat ug or neat pg i'll be talking about it later so all your exams are mostly going to be mcq type i have given i have made a video on tricks to crack any mcq exam so please uh, watch that video whenever you have time uh, the link you you can press the i button and the link is also given in the description so as soon as you are done with your 10 boards you'll have to start searching for a uh, good coaching classes you you will have to ask your seniors regarding the same and after you are done after you get your 10th results that is the time when you'll have to search for colleges so what i would recommend is uh, you choose a college which is integrated to your coaching classes see because 11th and 11th and 12th for any medicine or engineering aspirant are just two years for preparation for your entrance exam so the dreams of college life no don't worry your main college life will start in medical school that is after two years so your temperament has to be very steady that you have to know that two years you have to slog and slog and slog like day in and day out you have to work very hard because the seats for any uh, in any medical college all over india are very very less so for competing the whole india is competing for those specific seats so you better be working really hard for your seat no i'm not scaring you but i'm just making you mentally prepared that yeah for these two years you have to work really hard and my personal advice that if you're not good at maths please drop maths early on uh, your other choices like instead of maths you can choose psychology or geography you will have choices in 11th and 12th and some people will say that maths is really helpful uh, when you're solving physics ka problems and well to a certain extent they are true but then you know it's not as difficult okay the maths which is used in physics is not very difficult it's a basic it's ba- it's a, it's on basic concepts so once you learn those concepts uh, you'll be able to solve those physics problems very easily and 11th and 12th maths is uh, really not that easy because you have to continuously keep revising whereas our goal for these two years has to be only one neat ug only so in simple words 10th two years of study neat ug and then finally medical college And also, I totally forgot to tell you that through NEET UG, you can also get admission to physiotherapy and dentistry. In fact, there are many courses into which you can get admission. Uh, you can just Google it that uh, NEET UG gives admission to which all branches. Now, point number two, medical college. So finally, you are in a medical college, and your life takes a complete U-turn. The so-called nerds now finally get to live the college life they always wanted. So all that college life which which you missed in 11th and 12th here it is you will be meeting so many different people from different parts of the country you will be making so many new friends you will be having college events you will be having college fest and what not so basically mbbs is a 5.5 year course out of which 4.5 years is what you are going to study and one year is going to be compulsory internship and you will be having four university exams first year second year third minor and third major and after passing this third major mbbs exam finally you will be called a doctor but most important is that you will have to decide your future well in advance that is if you would want to stay in india itself or if you would want to go abroad that is after your after you are done with mbbs like if you want to go to usa you will have to give an example usa mle 
if you want to go to UK, you will have to give an exam called PLAB. So all of this you will have to inquire in the first year of medical college itself. I'll quickly tell you what you're supposed to do if you're going to stay in India. So there's going to be an exam called NEXT PG, okay, PG for post graduation, which uh, till date it has not come into the picture because we have been giving NEAT, uh, NEAT PG just like you will be giving NEAT UG. But now from next year or two years down the line, government is going to come up with this uh, exam, which is NEXT PG. Don't worry, you will get uh, to know more when you enter medical school. But then what is after that, that is after you give your next PG exam, you will be entering, you will be able to choose a specialization of your choice. That is post-graduation. Which brings me to point number three, that is post-graduation. So your post-graduation is going to be a three years course. So 5.5 years MBBS and three years post-graduation. And after these three years, you will be awarded a degree called MD or MS. So MD is for medical fields and MS S is for surgical fields. So in MD, there is a choice of MD medicine, pediatrics, dermatology, psychiatry, whereas in MS, it can be surgery, orthopedics, ophthalmology, or it can also be obstetrics and gynecology and so on. But in today's generation, you just cannot stop at MD or MS. That is, you cannot just stop at a speciality branch. You have to do a super speciality. So for super speciality, after those three years of post-graduation, you will have another all India entrance exam, which is called NEET SS. So in NEET SS, you will be able to choose super speciality branches. Like for example, in uh, MD, while doing your three years of post-graduation, if you have chosen MD medicine, so then you will be able to further super specialize in branches like cardiology, nephrology, neurology, rheumatology, endocrinology, oncology, and so on. And if you have chosen MS in your post-graduation, that is MS general surgery, then you will be having options like neurosurgery, pediatric surgery, urosurgery, oncosurgery, and so on. And this brings me to the fourth point that is super speciality. So your super speciality is also going to be a three years course. And after which you will be awarded a degree. If you have done any of the medical branches, you will be awarded a degree of DM. And if you have done any of the surgical branches, you will be awarded a degree of MCH. And just in case you need a further in-depth knowledge of your subject, of your super speciality, there are various fellowships in India as well as abroad, which you can do it after completing your super speciality. And when all your friends would have had their first child, you would have finally completed your medical education. Just kidding. There's no rule, huh? That doctors can't marry while they're studying. So 5.5 years plus three years plus three years, that is 11.5 years you will take to become a super specialist. I guess I have scared you enough and have discouraged quite a few of you. But then I feel this video would be really incomplete without me telling you the pros of becoming a doctor. And you would be surprised to know that only one point in pros would be enough to cancel out all the cons. All these years of struggle would be cancelled only by one point. And that point, it's the feel guys. It's the feel of being the doctor. The feel of having those, the feel of having that prefix DR in front of your name. Being a doctor is the feeling, it's an emotion in itself. And that feeling, a feeling which cannot be described. Your parents feel so proud. You get to help the society. It's such a noble profession that you literally realize they can, that you can actually cure a person. You can actually cure a disease. You can reduce the person's suffering. You can reduce the person's pain. You can make a paralyzed man walk again on his legs. You can treat heart attack. You can treat cancer. You can treat hair loss. You can deliver babies. If the baby has a hole in his heart, you can cure that too. You can give a burns or acid attack victim a new face, a new life. You give hope. You give hope to the society that chahe COVID bhi aane do, we are ready to face the challenge. It's undoubtedly the most satisfying branch. You can give the person his eyesight. You can make him see the world. Now what can be more satisfying than this? To be very honest, I also never realized all this until I did my internship when I was posted in BKC COVID Center. I used to see the patients getting discharged after battling COVID for 20 long days and they used to go home. And the way they used to acknowledge that, uh, thank you so much, sir, because of you, because uh, you did something. So that thank you, you know, it's, it's special. That thank you, that gratitude makes you forget all your hardships. All those years of studying, all those exams that you gave, all those parties that you missed, all of that vanishes with that thank you, you know. 
इन्ही दिन के लिए तो हम जीते हैं सो इन दी एंड इट्स योर चॉइस इट्स योर लाइफ गाइज सो चूज योर करियर वेरी वेरी वाइसली एंड इफ एट ऑल यू डिसाइड टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर do connect with me feel free to connect with me on social media the links are given in the description and uh, just do one thing today uh, send this video to all the doctors you know and ask them to watch it from where i start talking about the pros and just tell them thank you you don't realize this but these small gestures will touch his heart it will make him forget all the hardships it will surely make his day please do that and if you are inspired to be a doctor please add it in the comment section that i am inspired to be a doctor and please share this video with as many students as many batchmates and friends as possible and all the very best for your board exams all the best for your neat ug all the best for your neat pg all the best for your neat ss all the best for your life guys thank you so much